Hello, beautiful people, and thank you, King County, for having me here today. On September 22nd, 1862, President Abraham Lincoln issued the Preliminary Emancipation Proclamation, which declared that as of January 1st, 1863, all enslaved people in the states currently engaged in rebellion against the Union, in quotations, shall be then, thenceforward, and forever free. End of quotations. Lincoln didn't actually free all the approximately four million men, women, and children held in slavery in the United States. When he signed the formal Emancipation Proclamation, the document applied only to enslaved people in the Confederacy and not to those in the border states that remained loyal to the Union. But the, although it was presented chiefly as a military measure, the proclamation marked a crucial shift in Lincoln's view on slavery. Emancipation would redefine the Civil War, turning it from a struggle to preserve the Union to one focused on ending slavery and set a decisive course for how the nation would reshape after that historic conflict. Confederate General Robert E. Lee surrendered to Ulysses S. Grant at Appomattox. Despite that formal surrender, the Confederate Army had continued to fight in Texas until mid-May. Major General Gordon Granger prepared what is now known as Order No. 3, announcing the end of legalized slavery in the states. June 19th, 1865, better known as Juneteenth, is a day that all enslaved African Americans in Galveston, Texas, were told they were free two years after the Emancipation Proclamation. But that's not quite true. General Granger's order did not end slavery in the country. That didn't happen officially until December 1865, when the 13th Amendment to the Constitution was ratified by the necessary number of states. The 13th Amendment outlaw slavery across the nation with a key loophole, except as punishment for a crime wherefore the party shall have been duly convicted. This paved the way for the country's burgeoning prison labor system and the world's largest prison population. Question. As a society, we must ask ourselves, is there a difference? I hold in my hand an adult and a child authentic slave shackle. On the right, I hold authentic police handcuffs. So we must ask ourselves the question, is there a difference? More importantly, what's our individual and collective responsibility to be the change we want to see in the world? On this day, let's make a commitment to be that change. Thank you very much.